another edition of How to Pass the Math FSA Grade 3. Um, just let me give you a heads up. The same problems that I'll be working on today, which there are four examples, you can find those same four examples by clicking the link in the description box below. And from there, you'll be able to download the complete guide. So not just this standard, but all of the standards that will be tested on the Math FSA. Plus, I will also give you two different levels of problems. So you'll see these, and then you'll see two more sets of practice problems. Don't click there yet, though. Well, you can, but come back, because that way you can watch this video. So we are working today on maths.3.md.3.5 and md3.6. So it's a measurement. MD stands for measurement. Working on 3.5 and 3.6 combined today. And the topic is area concepts. And we're not going to, we're basically going to focus on counting up the square units today. We will use other strategies for determining the area in another lesson. So before we get started, over here I just wanted to put this visual reminder for almost one, two, three for this video and then the next two videos. I'm going to leave this up just to have that visual for you that the perimeter, you're adding up all the sides, and it's the border, and the area is determining the number for the space that's covering. Okay, so just keep that in your head. So here we go. Let me teach ya. Juliana puts tiles shown on her floor. Here they are. There's some light ones behind it, but I'm not looking at those, I'm looking at the bolded ones. What is the area in square feet of Juliana's floor? So for area, we are simply counting up the squares that we have to consider. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32. Oh my gosh, it's going to be so much faster when I teach you that area is multiplying the length times the width. But for now, count the squares because that's what this standard is asking you to make sure that you understand. So what's my area? It is 32, but don't just leave it at that. It's not, and it's not just 32 feet. It's 32 square feet. Okay, for area, you gotta make sure that you include that square. Let's go to number two. And here's example two. Derek put tiles on the floor. Good job, Derek, putting tiles on the floor. What is the area in square centimeters this time of Derek's floor? So this is a little, a little baby, because centimeters aren't that big. So this is a little, maybe Derek is an ant, and he's an ant, and he's making an ant floor. Okay, so area today, we're simply working on just counting the square units, counting the area that it's covering. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So the area is ten, but don't stop there. It's ten centimeters, but area special. Make sure you put the square centimeters. S Q U A R E. I'm going all the way. I could put C M, but I am writing it all out because I feel like it. So somebody asked me the other day if I think in song, and I do. My brain just naturally just sings a lot. I'm not the best singer. I know that. That is a fact. Um, so like it, this video now, if you know that I'm not the best singer, because that's okay. I can still think in song. It's cool. So here, Eric counts all the tile on his floor. What measurement does Eric find by counting all the floor tiles? Life is so much better when you sing about it. I need to make sure that I understand this, though. So he's counting all the tile on his floor. What is What measurement does he find by counting? What measurement does he find by counting? He's finding the area if he's counting the floor tiles. 
Is he finding the perimeter of the floor? No, people, that would just be the border. That's not right. The cost of one tile? If you're counting the tiles, you're not figuring out the cost. You're just counting. The length of one side of the room? No, that would just be figuring out one length, not the whole coverage, the whole area of the floor. Oh my gosh, is this not the easiest standard in the world? <gasps> Cut. I think I just spit. Sorry. I have a surprise for you. This is the last one today. Well, not today. You might be watching like a bunch of them, a bunch of my videos, but this is the last one for this video. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Example four. The area of Tammy's rug is 10 square feet. Good thing they said square because we're talking about area. Select all the rugs that could be Tammy's. That's what it should say. Sorry about that. Um, multi-select problem, so I need to go through each one of these and determine if, when I count all the squares, if the area is 10 square feet. Let's check. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 plus 5 is 10. 10 square feet. Ding, ding, ding. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Ding, 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 square feet. 3, 6, 9. That's 9. That's wrong. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So it is just B and C. Don't leave yet. I've got an inspirational message for you before you go. This one comes from R. Collier, and he says, Success is the sum of small efforts repeated day in and day out, which means that in order to be successful, you got to put in the work every single day. It's one step at a time. So make sure you do that, and I will catch you in the next episode. Bye, guys.